Hello and welcome back everyone. The oculomotor nerve is a paired motor nerve which provides innervation to the muscles of the eyes along with the fourth and the sixth cranial nerves. The primary target of the oculomotor nerve are the external eye muscles which control the external movements of the eyes such as looking up and down. However, some of its fibers also pass onto the internal eye muscles which are involved in accommodation and constriction of the eyeball. The oculomotor nerve starts its journey by originating from the main oculomotor nucleus that is situated at the level of the superior colliculus in the midbrain. The superior colliculus is a pair rounded structure located at the roof of the midbrain and is involved in head eye coordination. Located just ahead of the superior colliculus is the main oculomotor or the third nerve nucleus, which can be best described as a collection of nerve cells involved in motor innervation to the external eye muscles. The outgoing nerve initiates its path anteriorly passing through the red nucleus. The red nucleus is just a pair of pale pink rounded oval bodies located in the midbrain and is involved in motor coordination. Moving on, the nerve then passes further anteriorly and emerges on the anterior surface of the midbrain at the oculomotor sulcus. The oculomotor sulcus is a V-shaped depression in the lateral wall of the interpendicular fossa. The interpendicular fossa is a depression in the anterior surface of the midbrain. Upon emerging from the midbrain, the nerve continues to move anteriorly, passing between the posterior cerebral and the superior cerebral arteries. It continues further into the middle cranial fossa, passing through the lateral wall of the cavernous sinus and eventually emerges into the orbital cavity through the superior orbital fissure. The third cranial nerve has two motor nuclei. One is the main oculomotor nucleus, which is located in the midbrain as explained earlier. Apart from the main nucleus, the oculomotor nerve contains another nucleus known as the accessory parasympathetic or the edinker westphal nucleus, which is situated just posterior to the main oculomotor nucleus. This accessory nucleus contains nerve cells which provide some control of the internal muscles of the eyes and hence are involved in accommodation and constriction of the eyeball. The oculomotor nerve supplies motor innervation to all external muscles of the eye including the levator palpebrae superioris, superior rectus, medial rectus, inferior rectus and inferior oblique muscles. However, it must be remembered that it does not provide innervation to the two external muscles that is the superior oblique and lateral rectus muscles. Therefore, the oculomotor nerve is entirely motor nerve, providing motor supply to the external muscles of the eye. Through the actions of these muscles, it is responsible for various actions of the eyes such as lifting the upper eyelid, turning the eye upward, downward and medially. So this was a brief and short overview on oculomotor nerve, the third cranial nerve. If you want more study materials, you can always visit our Patreon page on patreon.com slash study with a dentist. I will meet you all next time. Till then, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Stay safe and goodbye.